Hello there internet and welcome to Geeky End and on this episode we are going to be showing off a relatively new set. Uh, I am a huge Lego collector and I don't have a, a video to show them all off but this set when I built it I was completely bewildered and amazed about what you get in this set and this is bringing me back right to my childhood right when I had that Nintendo NES. And it is exactly what you would imagine picking it up right out of the store. So let's go ahead and talk about this set and let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first is that we actually have a replica scale of the classic NES and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the box right now you can see how large the box is and everything that's there so first let's talk about the NES itself now this is uh, I think it's a little bit lower scale compared to the actual NES system but it is completely made out of Lego which is completely cool so you see here it's got uh, even the nice little indentation that was reminiscent of the classic NES you have uh, your uh, audio port right here. you have your audio video ports right there so you can see it's got a complete details of Nintendo bricks and these are exclusive to the set you also have the power reset button now this little clear one by one piece is supposed to be a illuminated piece but there is no power given to this console itself but one thing that's pretty cool is when you actually do lift up the cartridge case cover uh, you can go ahead and insert your game cartridge and this does come with the classic Super Mario Brothers again completely made out of Lego and you can see kind of inside here I can't tell if the camera's gonna pick it up but there is a green hue within the cartridge itself and for classic gamers they know that you have to blow into the cartridge to clean it and what's cool is that the sound effects that it makes uh, let's just go ahead and show you what it makes here so it gives you the complete satisfaction of when you install the game cartridge on your NES it is very very cool another thing that you got here are the video game ports but before I show you how the controller connects into it, there is a little Easter egg that's in the console itself. So when you look into the side here, you'll go ahead and lift up this panel. And what you do is when you are building this set, you are essentially recreating the second level of Super Mario Brothers. So that's just a little cool thing to keep you invested in the build. And I was not one bit drained or felt bored during this build this was actually one of the funner builds uh, of all my lego sets i do have a lot of star wars lego sets i have the complete set of the blizzard overwatch lego sets i have some batman sets so i am a lego collector but this build was probably one of my favorite and most fun builds ever in history um, so let's talk about the controller itself here's a little close-up of the controller and unfortunately my nintendo nes is packed up and away so i can't show you guys a comparison of the video controller but this is again completely made out of lego really can't go wrong and when you actually do look at this you'll know it's exactly the nes controller these are non-buttons so these are just the little circular pegs so that's pretty much what you can do there the d-pad right here is just all one by ones so really can't complain on that aspect and this controller just simply plugs into the console itself via this little mechanism all you do is just take this little piece pop it in and you are connected to your NES console but now that we got the the cool part out of the way the next part is what really sold this set lego had me already at this set itself but when you talk about the what is given in this set you are basically looking at the main set for this piece so let's go ahead and get into it now this is the main selling point for the classic nes lego set 
it is a great set to have for a classic video game collector. So let's go ahead and just talk about this piece by piece, essentially. So I got to be careful because this TV set is on a stand, but the stand and the TV are not mounted together. They just basically lift up and the TV's supposed to rest on it, but it, it sets in place. So you really can't have anything go off the edge or anything like that. So it is snug fit. So there is an antenna up here and it does click. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you around the back here. So here's a side view first as we make our way around the television set. Now this looks like a classic CRT TV cathode ray tube. I'm not too sure, but it's the big ones that made the sound when you turned it on and everything. So here's the nice little disclaimer of everything that's there on your model TV. You have your classic audio and video ports with the, I believe that's supposed to be a coaxial cable line. Uh, you got a, another port there, just more ports. And you have the antenna, which does have a connector piece right here. So you can go ahead and stow that away. Or when you're actually trying to connect your TV and find a single, you can just go ahead and lift it up there. So on the other side of the set, just another what I call like a grandma's TV set. Here's a little bit more fine detail on the Lego set on the left side, which is just uh, TV parts and whatnot. Here's a little more rundown of the channel selector. You have uh, different switches, different uh, saturation contrast levels for the TV. But one thing that's pretty cool is that when you actually turn this knob here, You actually, there's a clicking mechanism that's built in. So it's like you're actually selecting the TV channel, which is pretty cool. It's just the little things that Lego does when you're trying to build it. But this is the really cool thing that there is a little jack-in-the-box lever, I guess you can call it. So when you actually do wind that up, you start playing Mario itself. And this is the Mario playing you just go ahead and turn it and the faster you go the faster he'll actually go up and try to do it there but the pipe right now where he's standing at is the starting point and all you do is turn it really quickly 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 and you just try to beat the level okay so I'm gonna show you guys something pretty cool with this set if you do happen to have the additional figure piece so up top here you'll notice that there is a ridged uh, Lego piece and this just basically pops right off and inside here for those that don't know that is the new Mario pieces that are basically scanned by Mario himself so when you actually do want to have sound effects you're gonna need this little guy right here so first this is the new interactive Lego Mario which I will be doing a new Lego Mario level series basically you'll go ahead and purchase different expansion sets but this Lego guy uh, is pretty cool so first you turn him on and he is a interactive one-of-a-kind and unique Lego Mario piece what Lego Mario is gonna do is he'll scan that little barcode up there and I will show you what happens and just let Mario do the talking.
and that's the level so you get sound effects when you do have this additional Mario piece now this set is currently at your retail stop now this set is currently at your retail stores right now I got mine specifically at the Lego store this set comes uh, separately to get this one and then this one this Mario and this Nintendo NES system are completely two different uh, brands of the Nintendo genre so if you guys like this video go ahead and drop a comment below if you guys want to see something different or you found something very interesting within the video go ahead and drop a comment below until then my friends don't forget to subscribe to geekyant and we'll see you on the next video